What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add a title block to our drawing sheet and then we are going to update the project information of the title block. Okay? So let's create and update a title block. So I'm gonna open A101. So it's already open. And then after that, we are going to modify some of the title block parameters here. So like for example, for the owner, so I'm going to change that. So you just need to click that and then just change that to, uh, let's say, River City. And then for the project name, so this will going to be the uh, Municipal Fire Station. Okay, and then for this sheet name, so I'm going to call this ground floor, ground floor plan. Okay, so and, and if you will notice here, if I'm going to click outside, you can see the properties of your sheets here. So it's now updated. You see the sheet name here, it's now updated. So you can also change it from here. And aside from that, you can also go to the Manage tab and then look for the project information here. You click that. So here you can modify the project information. So as you can see, one of the project information here is the client name, which we already changed here. That's why it's now updated here. And also the project name, which is the municipal uh, fire station so you can also change that to the project information and if you have used the same uh, title block on your other sheet so if you will notice it's also updated so if I open A102 sections and details so you can see that it's now already updated so River City Municipal Fire Station okay so now um, I'm going to create a new sheet here. So I'm going to right click this, create a new sheet. And then I'm going to use uh, A1 metric. And then I'll select here OK. So as you can see, it's now updated here. Okay. So I can also go back again to my project information aside from changing here directly on my title block. I can go to the project information here and then I can put some of the information here so like for example the uh, project status so let me change the project status so let's say I'm gonna put here client review and then for the project number so let's say this is 2022-01 Okay, and then I'm just going to select here. Okay. There you go. So it's now updated. So I can also click my title block here and then specify here the sheet name aside from going directly to my title block and then changing the sheet name here. I can also select that. I can change the sheet name here or just click outside and look for the sheet name here okay so I can select that and then change to let's say a uh, main floor plan okay and then instead of sheet a103 I'm gonna change this to a a101 There you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my title block. So I do not want this one here. Okay, or let's say you do not want to have the Autodesk Revit here. You want to put your company website and then you want to put your company logo. So what you do is you edit the title block family. So to do that, you can click the title block and then you can edit the family here. You can click that. And then you will go into the family editor. So here you can remove this. If you want, you can delete that. 
and then to insert a new image you can go to the insert and then you can import an image okay so you can put your company logo or image here for example now this one this is just a text you can put your uh, text here or your company website okay so for this one I'm going to delete this and then I'm just going to update this one so let's say I'm gonna put the address of the company like uh, let's say upright steel engineering enter for a, a new line main street enter river city okay enter and then the number is like this one two three four five six seven okay and then i'll just click outside and then i can just drag this to arrange it okay so basically that's how you modify your title block you can modify the title block as well here if you want to change the text style or the height of your uh, label or text you can change it here okay and then once you modify your title block you just need to load it back again to the project and then just override the existing version and parameter value and there you go so it's now updated okay so basically that's how you work on your title block and hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day